Hello, in this video we are going to understand how to implement a basic CNN model for the MNIST digit classification. So initially we will be importing the TensorFlow and Keras using these commands and I have also printed the version of TensorFlow it's 2.2. Now we will get the dataset. So this MNIST dataset is available in the Keras.dataset package now we are going to take this MNIST dataset which is available to us within the tensorflow using the command tf.keras.dataset MNIST in this section uh, using the load data function we will be getting the training images training labels test images and test labels uh, get ready for the further processing so once the training images and test images are segregated we can check how many training images and test images are there so training images are 60,000 and the test images are 10,000 now we want to reshape our uh, data uh, to be processed in the CNN so what we will do is so we have to give a combined shape of the training model as 60,000 into 28 into 28 into 1 so 28 into 28 into 1 is a grayscale image and 60,000 is the number of images available so after this we can do the normalization by dividing every pixel value with 255 so that our values are in the range of 0 to 1 only same will be done for the test images so after running this we are uh, ready to uh, define our model so in this what we are go going to do is we are going to take 16 filters of size 3 comma 3 and uh, going to use the relu function it is rectified linear unit the input shape will be 28 into 28 into 1 so this is the size of the input image and based on it this um, model has been defined uh, two convolution layers and two max pool layers have been used uh, before flattening and uh, the final uh, dense layer and the final soft max layer of prediction I'm also printing the model summary so let's see what the model summary is so you can see clearly that uh, after uh, giving this 16 values of 3 by 3 filter uh, what is the effect of uh, this 3 by 3 on 28 into 28 so the Im input shape becomes uh, 26 into 26 into 16 uh, by passing into the quantity so what's happening here is suppose we have a 10 cross 10 matrix and uh, we apply 3 cross 3 filter here so after applying 3 cross 3 filter uh, these 8 values this 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 all the highlighted 8 values will be used in finding the middle value so when we find this middle value uh, this will be kept uh, safe in the final output so something like this will be generated and this value will be copied here so this is the reason that uh, in 10 cross 10 our first row is discarded our first column is discarded similarly the last column and the last row are also discarded so that's why this 10 cross 10 will become 8 cross 8 similarly our 28 cross 28 has become 26 cross 26 now that you have understood how this 26 into 26 has come what this max pooling 2d will do is that now once my 26 cross 26 is available to me what it will be done is this 2 cross 2 filter will be responsible for finding the maximum value out of these four so out of all these four the maximum value will be taken as the output so only one value will be printed and rest of the three will be discarded suppose there are uh, one two four and five so this 2 cross 2 matrix will be shift converted to five so this is the reason uh, why 26 cross 26 after max pooling with 2 cross 2 uh, max pooling with 2 cross 2 gives an output of 13 cross 13 so this is how size of the output shape is being changing
so similarly after uh, we get this 13 cross 13 uh, th this convolution 2d will remove two rows and two columns so the size will be 11 cross 11 similarly after max pooling we will get 5 cross 5 now these 5 cross 5 cross 16 all these values will be flattened and it will become 400 5 into 5 into 16 is 400 then we are passing the value uh, through the dense layer with 32 nodes and the final output is being given by the 10 nodes for giving the class of the amnes digit now we want to also uh, keep in check uh, if our accuracy is crossing 95% we want to stop our training to save our time so this is how we do it we use on epoch and function uh, by using this um, class my callback this callbacks equal to my callback means uh, callbacks is uh, the object which will be used in the training uh, while stopping our accuracy once we reach 95% so if I run this uh, so nothing will happen because I have not called it yet so now what we will do is uh, we are going to compile the model and uh, train it with the batch size of 50 epochs as 5 and optimizer stochastic gradient descent so this is how we uh, do the compiling so we can define the optimizer as SGD the loss is sparse categorical cross entropy because I want to uh, use the categorical uh, prediction so there are 10 classes and the matrix is accuracy we, we want to check the accuracy only Af after we define this compile uh, now we want to fit our model so uh, we will be passing training images training labels batch size will be 50 epochs will be 5 and callbacks equal to callback means that we want to stop our training once we reach 95% so I'm going to run it now this 1200 means uh, that my batch size is 50 and uh, my training images were 60,000 so 60,000 divided by 50 is 1200 so these are the mini batches uh, 1200 mini batches are being trained in every epoch alright and within three epochs we reach an accuracy of 95.12 percent and we are cancelling our training uh, so, uh, so this is my final accuracy and the final loss uh, so now I want to do the uh, test loss uh, using the function model dot evaluate we can check the test loss also so the uh, I am going to pass the test images and test labels with the batches of 50 now because my number of test images were 10,000 so my mini batches will be 200 so after checking my uh, accuracy for the test loss so yes uh, the accuracy is good and uh, this CNN model has performed good thank you mm -hmm.